What you're about to see here is a group of Asians beat up a group of patriots on the streets in Leeds uh, just a few days ago. And I'm just going to let this play and, and give my analysis of why this is more of a problem than just the simple crime that happened. Because what's happening here is that the f patriots have been disparaged. They've been maligned. And it's now come to a case where they're not safe to walk down their own streets. So people like Keir Starmer, the police, the sentencing, the mainstream media, the politicians who have been gloating, quite frankly, over the sentences, you know, they have made, they've basically legitimised this and they've put a target on these people's backs for wearing a flag. I mean, how dare they wear a flag of their country down their street? I mean, I can see some people would say it provokes it, but, you know, that, that's where we're at at the moment. You know, that's the type of attitude. And you can see they just go for them like a pack of dogs. And it's brazen. They don't feel that there's going to be any problems with it. They don't feel they're going to get in trouble. Um, you know, K Sadiq Khan said last week that he felt scared. He didn't feel safe to walk down the streets of London because of the far right. There is no far right. There is, there are rioters and they deserve to be punished, but there is no far right threat threatening this country. What actually and that's an insult to these people, because what's more of the problem now is that, you know, if you're patriotic or you're right wing or conservatives, you've now been maligned for so long in the mainstream media and the press that people like this feel that you're fair game. If you, you've, you hear it all the time. You hear things like Tory scum, far right, you're a fascist, you're a Nazi. You know, David Lammy has been calling the you know, conservative group worse than Nazis. This type of language has been normalised. It's dehumanising and actually it objectifies people of a certain political persuasion who are none of these things. They're just concerned people who want common sense politics. Uh, and this is unfortunately where it ends up, where people feel justified in doing these type of things but why is this not front page news you know, why, why is this not front page news imagine if this was the other way around imagine if this was a person draped in a palestinian flag who got beaten up by far right people that would be truly awful and that would be national headlines Keir Starmer would be making a press conference there'd be cobra meetings it would be awful it'd be absolutely everywhere so i don't really understand the double standards that is why we have a two-tier system um and that's why you know it's got to stop look if you like this content like and share it so the message gets out wide we have to keep held labor to account and uh, get our country back